Today we're going to be flying out the P47 D28 and we're going to be facing a 1v5. And I want to show you what things to look out for. This plane in general, some energy fighting as well as some target prioritization and some, and some general situational awareness. Because this thing is extremely good. It's 4.7, it could probably be up to it very easily. And if you use Mac, which I advise with this thing because you basically don't have to touch it at all the entire flight. All you have to do is put your prop pitch on 85%. Put your mixture on 90 and just close your radiators. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to worry about superchargers. You don't have to worry about changing the prop pitch too much. The only thing you have to worry about is managing your web. You only have about 11 minutes of it. And you want to use it wisely. Because without the web this thing is not as powerful as you want it to be. Of course it's a P47. So keeping it at medium to high altitude at the very least is a good idea. I mostly hang around 5 kilometers. Sometimes a little bit higher. This Zero is chasing me. And he's going to be very annoying. But I'm much much faster than him. And what I want him to do is get bored of me. And dive on the easy kill he can get right below him. Yes I'm using my teammate for bait here. But if I were to engage my uh, the guys around my teammate right now. That would have died way before I would have gotten there anyway. I will one throw the game. Because I will lose a lot of altitude and energy doing that. And then I'm stuck in this fight with a zero above me. Which can very easily force me slow. And will potentially lose me the game. Right now everyone's on the deck. Which is basically an ideal situation in this thing. Because the P47 relies on using your energy. Staying fast. And just regular boom and zooming. You can dogfight with a lot of planes. Uh, the 109's. If the enemy isn't very good. If he's not better than you. You can beat him. It's a very risky fight. And it's not something I recommend. But it says something about the maneuverability that this thing has. And you can tell right now. I'm just cruising around. I'm kind of like looking at guys who I can dive on. Seeing what's going to happen. Jay Black doesn't have any ammo. He's in a 2v1. He got a lot of hits on those guys. And he's basically just dogfighting those two guys until they get a shot on him. So it's he's kind of just fighting a losing battle here. And right now I see that everyone is on the deck. So I start engaging. Who do I go for? The Zero is very annoying. The G55 will be my main target. He's not very fast, no, but he turns well and he has very good guns, which is very annoying. Here you can see my compression. And the Zero is of course very nimble, very hard shot for me. And now I want to extend the way. I'm not going to go straight up, because that allows the Spitfire there to pitch up for me and maybe hose me down. I don't want that. What do I do? I go in a very gradual climb. And then when I have enough separation, I will go straight up, do a little loop. And now I'm right back above these guys again, without too much compression. So I have a lot... And a lot easier time to engage these guys now. There's three people in the area. And at this point it's just a target of opportunity. Who can I kill first? Because I want to just wear these numbers down. I don't have the luxury of killing the guy I want to kill. Spitfire pitches up for me. Just going to spray. I have 3400 rounds. I'm going to use all 3400 rounds. Spitfire doesn't have an engine left. He's stalling out. Got a little bit too close to his guns. But I was very confident that he wouldn't be able to get his guns on me. But that's basically the only time anyone gets a shot on me here. Spitfire is basically out of the fight. G55 right below me. I want him dead. P51 over there. A6M over here. He's dead. The guy that I critted to start is RTB. So I don't have to worry about him for a little bit. And he's only D22. So he shouldn't be too much of a problem here. The Zero is using his turn. So I can't actually go for him. I don't want to commit too much. I got a crit. Break off. Look at the G55. Because I want to make sure that that G55 at no point of time actually get guns on me. Here comes the P51. Not sure which P51 it is at this point. But I'm going to be guessing it's a C. Because that's the plane I've been seeing the most at this BR. And we're tiered at 4.0. So there's a very big chance that I will see a C. But it doesn't really matter considering his altitude. Because he's very low right now. And he's basically not a threat. The Zero is crit. But he doesn't really seem to be that damaged. Other Spitfire crashes in the background. Succumbing to the damage. So I could have called it a 1v6, but you know, he was already dead before I came in, so that's not really fair to say. Zero right below me, he won't be able to pitch up. P51 is keeping his speed in a straight line. He really won't be able to catch me right now. And the zero is too low, so what I want to do is go for the G55. He's a little bit higher, he's more of a threat to me, he's, he's a high value target here. The G55 climbs well and turns well, so he can equalize the energy in the long run, and I don't want that. G55 is pushing ahead on with me. I don't want to fly straight over him. Because then I'm going to be flying over him at like 600 meters. Way too close for comfort. So I, I break away from him. To create some separation. Make him climb some more. Make him lose more energy. And then I do a spiral. If he tries to follow that. He's dead. 
And I'm gonna keep doing that. Because I have the energy to do so. I'm gonna be spraying at this A6M. Trying to deny him the head-on. I'm way above him. I have way more energy. He won't really be able to pull into this. I could have stalled out the zero right there. But the problem would have been that this G55 would have easily killed me. So what do I do? I again fly over the G55. Stay above his nose. He doesn't have the energy to pull for this. I'm just doing a little corkscrew. Spiral. Whatever you want to call it. And the G55 this time took the bait. And he's toast. Way too slow. He's not going to be doing anything. He's a zero. Also very slow. And that's a double kill. And that's three guys down. Two to go. So we got a P47. D22. As well as a P51C. And luckily for me they're going to come one by one. And this makes it so that I can 1v1 these two guys. And don't have to worry about a 2v1. Which basically makes it so that I have already won this game. Of course I don't want to celebrate too early. Because that's always a recipe for disaster. But I outperformed these enemies. By a, well, a decent margin. And I'm quite confident that if I just don't make mistakes. I should be alright. The P47 is climbing to my side here. And what I want to do is I want to angle myself behind him. So that if he wants to go head on with me. What he has to do is do... Well, more than a 90 degree turn. And if he doesn't turn, I'm right on the 6. The more he has to turn, the more energy he loses. And I already have more energy. I'm going 500. He was still climbing. He's probably going about 300. And at this point, he's trying to go somewhere. But he really just he can't do anything. Like, he, he turned way too late. He, he screwed up big time here. But also, like he couldn't have done anything in that situation. I'm in a better plane. I have more energy. And that just means that he's basically toast. Unless I royally fuck up. But I had so much more energy than him. And I have a better plane. That I basically can screw it up. Unless I overshoot him. And then fly into his guns. And that's one guy left. I know he's around the airfield. I'm speeding some things up here. Because there's a lot of dead footage. But people don't like it when I cut it out. So I'm just going to be doing it like this. There he is. He sees me. I'm quite sure. So I'm going to be leveling out. Make him fly away from the airfield because I'm not going to throw the game. But instead he opts to turn around. Can't really blame him. I have a lot of energy over him and I just killed half his team. So I understand that he's being a little bit cautious. So what I want to do is make sure that he doesn't camp the airfield. So I pretend to straight for pillbox. Plus 50 kills. I kill one pillbox. I'm still going 800. I wasn't wepping in the dive because I don't want to well, waste it. And now we go in a very shallow climb to convert most of that energy back into altitude. And get a little bit of a lifeline going on. Because that P51 at this point probably would have climbed above me. And I need to start uh, working on this guy. I could have won on tickets. And just kill all the pillboxes. But that's very boring. And I'm not going to do that. I'd rather win the, the game by simply killing all the enemies. Because they're just more fun. And I, then I can say that I actually killed the enemy team. Without getting a cheap win on tickets. Of course winning on tickets like that is completely viable. And you can totally do that. But I just don't like doing it. So I won't. Right now I'm not using the web. Because I'm very far away. I'm just building some, some speed by diving a little. And I'm setting up for basically what's going to be a reversal here. He has more energy than me. He's faster than me. And he has the position. He's above me. And I don't have much web left. So I'm kind of like, what am I going to do? I don't want to run away too long because he's above me. And if I have to reclimb above him, it's going to cost me a lot of web. He's going to run me down because he, he has more altitude than me. I want to have some speed to dodge him. But I do know that he will be faster than me if he dives on me. So... I'm going to be trying to use his own energy against him. Yes, and this is kind of risky. And I kind of threw the match here. But, I mean, it's more fun than trying to win on tickets. So I try to do it nonetheless. Waiting to see if he's actually going to dive on me. Here he comes. He doesn't actually dive on me yet. Which makes me think, did he see me? Yes, he did. And he's doing the correct thing. He's trying to slow on all my six. And because he does that, he's now... He has an advantageous position. But we're going 650 kph. He's faster than me. And he does has more energy. Because he still has some altitude to dive on me as well. So what do I want to do? Drag him into an even steeper dive. Turn into him. Making his dive even steeper. Dodge his shot. And we go straight up. And he's a lot faster than me right now. He's compressing. So he basically just flies into my guns. He's crit. That's an oil. Oh that's the water tank. And he tries to go straight up after I crit him. Not sure what I damaged. But it doesn't matter. Because at this point he is completely toast. And that's game. A little bit sketchy. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Here's the reward screen. P38L. 8 kill carry coming in very soon as well. So stay tuned for that. But until then. See you next time.